Hi everyone and welcome day two in our circuit series and today it's upper body. All you'll need for today's workout is a pair of dumbbells and your mat. The dumbbells I'm using for your reference are 15 kg each. I will also use 8 kg each as we progress through the workout. We start with our compound movements and then we move into our isolation. So we'll be hitting our chest and back primarily at the start, into then our shoulders and then our arms, biceps and triceps. The timer is going to be on 40 seconds of work, 10 second rest between each exercise. Within each circuit there are five exercises and we do those in a rotation for three rounds in total. Once we complete the three rounds of those five exercises, we then have a minute rest before we move on to the next circuit. 10 seconds is not a lot of time for rest or sometimes getting in position. Take your time. You will see me, even if I'm ready to go into the next exercise, ready, poised, I may even still take a few seconds just to think, okay, bicep curls, here we go. I'm gonna keep my elbows in, I'm gonna keep my shoulders back and down, and I'm gonna control the lowering. Sort of thinking ahead as to what you're exactly going to focus on. With the bent over rows, really focus on keeping the back steady, shoulder blades, together, chest is open throughout, lower nice and slow, drive up, bring those dumbbells back at the same pace you lower at. With the renegade rows, feet wide, squeeze the quads, try to keep your back steady. Imagine there's something on your back like a glass of water and you really try not to spill that glass of water. Squeeze the quads, really brace the core for that row. During the skull crushers, you're going to try and keep the upper arm steady. Lots of people do skull crushers slightly different, so of course if you're used to doing it a certain way, by all means do it your own way, but the way I like to do my skull crushers, I actually keep my eye on my upper arm and then I lower the dumbbell down towards my skull, lengthening the tricep and bring it back up. Following skull crushers is shoulder crushers. You may never have seen this exercise before. This is just a little exercise that I sort of like to do. It's basically elbows in, just like the skull crushers. However, you're gonna bring it to your shoulders. And you don't need to worry about keeping your upper arm steady. That can move down. However, try and keep those elbows in, especially as you drive the dumbbells up again. During the pullovers, to intensify it if you wish, you can refrain from bringing the dumbbell right up perpendicular to your body. So you can keep that little bit more tension on the lats by bringing it up, but just not straight. However, if you need a break, definitely bring it up tall. There's just a few little pointers for you to think about as you progress through the workout. So just remember, it's three rounds of each circuit, five exercises in each circuit. We do our back and chest, then run the shoulders, and then arms. We have a little finisher of triceps just at the very end for one minute. You're gonna feel amazing after this. Let's go.
We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead. Ooh, getting caught in the mist is so many that never get out of. They're feeding the fears and the doubts. Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame. 